Hello, this is Barb Binder with Rocky Mountain Training. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor on FrameMaker. And in this video, I'd like to review the three ways to get text from Microsoft Word to FrameMaker. In my introduction to uh, Adobe FrameMaker classes, a lot of my students have the misunderstanding that they're done with Microsoft Word once they buy and learn FrameMaker. Now that might be true for some people that they once they have FrameMaker they don't use Word again, but most of us find that we still use Word on a daily basis. Um, you, if you think about the the strengths of Word. Word is a great tool for typing, for editing. There are lots of commands in Word that help you to uh, clean up your document, check your grammar, if you trust the grammar checker. There's things you can do in there to make your formatting pretty quick or your, um, your editing very quick. But FrameMaker is a page layout program and that's where we go for formatting. And because of that, a lot of us will continue to type in Microsoft Word, get all the text in place, take it to FrameMaker, and then make it look pretty. So in this video what I want to do is show you the three ways to get text from Word into FrameMaker. With that, I'm going to return to FrameMaker. And the first technique is to open the Word document in FrameMaker. Uh, that always strikes me as strange because the open command is normally reserved for native file formats, but we can open not just FrameMaker documents, but also Word documents in FrameMaker. So file open. Um, the file is sitting at the bottom of this window, so I'm going to click it and pick open. I get a dialog box saying that doesn't know what kind of file this is, and then it suggests it might possibly be a Word 2007 file, which is exactly what it is. And I can only remember one time in the last 20 years when FrameMaker got this wrong, but it always wants to ask me to confirm it, so I will. Yes, it's 2007. And then I'm going to pick convert and the Word document is now open in FrameMaker. It's that easy. Now it brought in Word formatting with it. The default tabs you see up here, Word has default tabs every half inch, so it brought the tabs in with it. It's using the two styles that were in use in that document. Uh, normal was being used by the body text and title was being used by the title at the very top. The other two were lurking in that document and they just came in as well. But this is a good starting point. If you want to use the word formatting and then go from there, that's one possibility. Here's choice number two. You could be in an existing FrameMaker document and then import the text. It could be a brand new document like I'm choosing. New document, portrait, done. Or you could open up a template that has all of the formatting in there and just a shell and then import the text into that template. Um, because I'm in a new document, you'll see I have just the starter set of paragraph tags. But in either of those two situations, if you want to bring the text in from Word to FrameMaker, you would use File, Import, File. The file I'm looking for is preface.docx. And one quick note about the two radio buttons on the bottom row. As a general rule, we copy our text into our documents. That way we can have a copy of it in FrameMaker and we can edit it right in FrameMaker. Although you can link to the Word document if you want to. But as general rule, we copy our text into FrameMaker and as, again as a general rule, we link or import our graphics by reference. So graphics we import and text we copy. There's exceptions to any rule in life and there's exceptions to those rules. But generally speaking, that's a good rule of thumb. So this is text. I'm going to go ahead and copy and I'm going to pick import. It says, could this be a Microsoft Word 2007 file? Yes. And it chooses convert. Now this time it asks a couple of questions. It wants to know where I want the text to go. It's assuming it's going to go in the main flow, the uh, flow A, which is exactly what I want. This is flow A back in here. And I then have a couple of choices about my formatting. I can reformat using my current documents formats. I could strip all the formatting out and bring it in as plain text. Or I could retain words formatting. Now typically when I'm working in FrameMaker, I'm being hired to do the layout in FrameMaker. I don't want words formatting. I want FrameMaker's formatting. So I tend to reformat using the current document formats. I will remove manual page breaks and other format overrides. For your own documentation, if you're not sure what to do here, here's my suggestion. Take the same file, import it three times, 
once with this radio button, once with the second one, once with the third one, and see what works best for you, your Word documents, and your FrameMaker workflow. One of them is probably going to be the way you're going to use it most of the time. For me, it's reformat. And when I pick import, the text flows in, and you can see now that it's using the starter set of paragraph tags. It uh, seems to have found title just fine because there was a title tag in Word, there's an equivalent title tag in FrameMaker, although it reformatted and matched the tag. However, it is still working with the normal style down here. So even though I said reformat, it's still maintaining the normal style. It's not in my catalog, but it's lurking in my FrameMaker document. So what I would do here is just select all in flow. That's going to be edit select all in flow or control A. And I just say, hey, everybody, start with normal. And then I go back to the first page and I can assign my other formats. That's one way to do it. Um, you know what might be a better way as I'm thinking about it now? Uh, you can also search for the normal style, paste over with the body style. That might be quicker if you have other paragraphs you're worried about losing. Anyway, from here, you could do whatever you want. So choice number one, open. Choice number two, file import file into an existing FrameMaker document. And choice number three is what most of my students assume is the way you do it, and that's copy and paste. If I have a FrameMaker document open, and I'll make another new empty document, portrait page, uh, I can just go back to Microsoft Word. I can select some text, for example, these first three paragraphs. I'm going to right click so you can see me choose copy. I'll switch back to FrameMaker again and I can right click and hit paste. Lots of other ways to find the paste command. One thing I want to make a big deal of though before I paste it, FrameMaker 9 and all the other earlier versions didn't like to paste this way. The paste preferences were in uh, an order where the assumption was when you hit paste you want the text to paste as a graphic and not as editable text. We almost never did but that was the default. At FrameMaker 10 that got changed. So for FrameMaker 10 and FrameMaker 11 when you choose paste, it does what it should have done from the get-go, which is you can actually get into this text and modify it. Now, I will need to do a little bit of formatting here. Say, hey, your body paragraphs and this is supposed to be a title paragraph. And then I can pick up from there and go forward. Uh, I'll use the copy and paste, typically not for a long document like this or a long chapter. I'll use it when somebody says, hey, I've rewritten that paragraph. Here's the new version delete the old one, put the new one in. I'll just copy and paste it. And um, the good news is for my longtime FrameMaker users who are new to FrameMaker 10 or 11, regular old paste is going to work. Now if you miss the old behavior and you want to paste a graphic, you could always go to the edit menu and paste special. It's still in there, it's just no longer the default. Uh, and that's it. I'm so glad you're choosing to go to uh, FrameMaker for your formatting. You're going to love it.